Take Headed the shuttle. Headed down to the old death turn. So uh, Ben and I and Ryan were, uh, were traveling together and they surprised me with this package here and I was supposed to open it and check out my reactions. It feels like a hat. <laughs> so excited. Wondering what it's going to say on the hat. <laughs> this is his Tinley hat. Uh-oh. Wow, it's really rough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's got my name on it. <laughs> Check it out. It's Cobra, Cobra Kai. Kai. <laughs> it's like the Karate Kid, but like the evil one. <laughs> Cobra Kai. There you go. That's How's our look? plane. <laughs> How tiny it is. We're going to awesome. be on the plane. Thanks for the gift. Checking out Sydney. Gotta get the expedition because if everybody is real big in here, aside <laughs> from Kai. Alright guys, we made it to the Rotarium. Got a crew with us, having some fun They're this weekend. Hiding outside of camera On our here. way to uh, <laughs> Tinley Park. So we're just gonna check out some cool animals, take you along with us. Hey, how are you doing, huh? Oh, you're so nice. Oh. You feel like leather. <laughs> Come back All here. Right. Ready? Come on. Here, I'm on. Come back here. Good luck. Come back here. <laughs> Me so, trying to uh, catch we're this trying this new breeding project here. <laughs> <laughs> ben, 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 ben. Hey baby. Hey baby. How you doing, baby? How's she doing? How's she doing? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, lazy. Now is he is he at full size right now or? Uh, they'll get a little bit bigger, but not a lot. You know, yeah. he's gonna he'll fill out a little bit. So this is one of the really cool animals here. I mean, there's tons of them, but this is a centrillion blue tongue skink. And uh, yeah, I've never held one or actually seen one in person. I think maybe you you picked up a, a couple that I saw at Tinley that one year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but and I looked at them, but man, it is. Brian was just saying like these are super rare in the United States and uh, not in Australia. They're like laughing at yeah, us, yeah. but here in the United States, nobody has these. And kids come here and they can hold them. You know, yeah. like what an amazing experience that Brian's really opened up yeah, to the public. Yeah, for me it's just a situation where, you know, the Centralians are the most chill. Like, I mean, that's what he does. His name is Potato, because we say he looks like a potato and he acts like a potato. And uh, that's why I wanted a Centralian here is because I have Northerns and Easterns, but they move a lot. And for mm -hmm. kids, you know, if you could just plop one in your hand and, and this guy just, he, he's, he's like a little slug. We love him to death. Super good. Oh, that's awesome, man. It's I appreciate you letting us hold them. Oh my gosh, my <laughs> pleasure, my pleasure. That's just like you, you're just like a three-year-old kid. Yeah, <laughs> like a, it's actually my nickname, oddly enough. <laughs> just sit there and look at me. Come on, baby, I know you want to. What's up, Bella? <laughs> I know, Belle, she'll come down, trust me, she always does. 
She just does it on her time. Right, baby? Come on, come see me. I think most of this is probably on the worst though ever. Yeah, you can put her around your neck, you can do whatever. She'll tighten up around your neck, you know what I mean? But but she's not like, we're okay with that. she's hanging out. We around, hope you know? that it knocks him out. If he can knock him out, I'd be super happy. Like, if he goes out. Yeah, this is Ivy. This She's is great. a heavy snake. Strong too, right? Yes. Heavy and strong. I mean, for the size, it's like twice the weight and size that you would think. Am I turning red yet? <laughs> Where are you going? I can't see you. I can't even turn my head. I'm posting that tomorrow. Yeah, don't throw your back. I'm not. I'm better now. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so talk about it, Ryan. Go ahead. I can't talk. <laughs> All right, so. It's the title and thumbnail. This Choked is an awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're not kidding. This is an awesome green anaconda. Uh, it comes from South America. <laughs> it's real gentle. <laughs> no, this is an awesome animal. This is like super heavy. Yeah, they're they're unbelievable. I mean, the the just the the muscle tone for size is ridiculous. That's why when you get a, a 13, 14 footer, she's only about nine foot. She is unbelievably, I mean, a, a 13 footer that's 150 pounds, it will do anything it wants to do because it's so strong, you know? But there, there's just something about that iconic green anaconda. I love this girl so much. She's a sweetheart. Never tried to bite ever. She'll move around, but she'll never bite. Yeah, she really is, she is. But she's due to eat too, so. So she'll get a uh, nice rabbit tomorrow. What do you think, Ben? <laughs> you know next cool. project? <laughs> I thought we were doing retics. Color morphs of anacondas, that's what you need to do. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get some albinos. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Pave the way, man. Pave the way. <laughs>
Hey, that's, that's professional right there. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, because he realizes like, oh, I can't climb up this way, you know, and then yeah, he'll yeah. eventually get it. But, but yeah, he's, so, he's amazing. So where did you get this guy? This actually came from Nerd Kevin, and I uh, got him when he was just a little baby. As a matter of fact, it was cool because Kevin actually put my name on the egg. It was my name <laughs> was on the egg itself, and that's um, awesome. yeah, so I, I, I just, I, it's, it's definitely top five animals I have oh. in my opinion. You know, super I mean, cool. Just, I love these, and so. He was yours before he was born. That's great. Exactly. <laughs> and, and Kevin did me a favor by as soon as he was born, habituated him, bonded with mm -hmm. him immediately. So when I got it, it was already dog tame. You know? Oh yeah. And he, it's just. I will say. I mean, there's. You know, people say what they want about Kevin, but his animals, they do handle them a lot, and yeah. they are super tame. I mean, we were holding monitors just like this, and you can just let them sit on your shoulder just yeah. like this. You know, it's like crazy. I still think Kevin is the best behavioralist in the game. You know, like yeah. he understands not just monitors, but pretty much every animal he works with. He understands them on a level that I've never seen anyone else in the reptile business mm -hmm. understand. And, 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 you know, you know, I always say he's a mad scientist, you know? He sure I mean, he, he's, he's crazy, but I love him to death. And uh, every animal I've ever gotten from Kevin's been great. So, and Toothless, I, I, I thank oh, him every yeah. day because I love this animal. It is a beautiful animal. Yeah, it's so cool. I love them. <laughs> Toothless. One I day we will have some. I know, can you imagine when this thing is six foot and just dog tame like this, climbing oh, yeah, up on right? you and doing all this stuff? I mean, just no fear in this animal at all, you know? I mean, just like total curiosity, just like... They're just so you know. smart. That's one of the things I love about them. They're so smart. Yeah, and when you think you of monitor tell. lizards like Toothless, and especially smaller ones like this, you think like when you put them on the ground, it would just try to run away from people, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, you could just see, like I could just set it down and it'll just like crawl. Nope. It doesn't even... Yeah, it just it just literally will crawl around. It'll check everyone out. It's uh, it, there's no fear in this animal at all. You know, again, a normal monitor. You come up if you tried to pet it or something like that, it would immediately run away. This guy just chills out. With you see, like you just crawl on your you come on up. He's like, hey, there you go. Dude, that one's not even choking you. <laughs> She's so chill. She's a chill animal. She's like, yeah. You know, Oh, she's so as good as it gets. Cool. No, dude, but you know, we've been working with her for number one, the collagen theoretically, I mean, from what everyone says, typically is pretty docile to begin with. Uh, and then we've been working with her since she was 10 days old. So she's been handled probably more than any animal I have as far as uh, habituating to being handled. And people ask me all the time, do snakes like being handled? You know, I don't know the complete answer to that, but she seems to like it. She always wants to come out. You know, she seems to always be happy when she's out. So even when she's blue eyed and stuff like that, she's still a puppy dog. So when these guys are born, they're like pure white, right? Pure white, And they yeah, start developing freckles every, yeah. like every And they'll shed. continue to f develop it. You know, as a matter of fact, even six months ago, I looked at a picture just recently of her, like six months ago, and she probably had half of the freckles. Wow. So now coming up even on uh, a year and a half, almost two years old, she's still every shed developing freckles and changing colors too. Like all the gray that's in her now mm -hmm. used to be yellow. Oh, wow. And just overnight, like it went from yellow to gray like that it was crazy and um yeah there i don't even understand how the, the the mechanism works for that but it's crazy she is beautiful yeah it's like opposite nice. of gray hair right yeah 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 exactly <laughs> and uh so I, I don't know but uh and of course the thing the other thing that's nice is typically cows because of the the localities they're from just don't typically get much more than 10 foot oh know, really 10 12 foot you know yeah. about it so you hear that uh, ben yeah. <laughs> so it's uh that's what makes them nice too you're not looking at a 20 foot python what is, so. she, what is she now she's like maybe eight and a half foot she's something like that yeah about eight and a half foot yeah and one of the things that we do here is, is we always make sure that our food regiments, you know, everything gets fed once a week, but they get fed what we consider the proper amount of food. We don't beef mm -hmm. up anything. Our monitors' bellies don't drag on the floor. Our big snakes right. aren't <laughs> obese that they can't move. We want things to be lean, mean. We want these animals to live 25, 30 years plus, uh, not, you know, have monster huge animals that live 10 or 12 years. So, um, so you know, we're growing her the same way as we would grow any of the other stuff, which is on a, a pace more like what they probably see in the wild to uh, just keep them healthy. Okay. Yeah, she looks beautiful, man. Yeah, there's just amazing. You're huge. So what is this guy, Bri? This is actually a Suriname marine toad. So uh, this is, you know, it's a marine toad, cane toads. They, they, they obviously are all over the place. Most of them are invasive. But uh, for whatever reason, the Suriname seem to be the largest. Mm -hmm. So this is actually Al. We have Al and Peggy. And uh, Al is 2.3 pounds. 
I've heard the big ones can get close to three pounds. Wow. So, uh, so he's, you know, they're doing right. They, they, it's crazy. They eat everything, you know, mainly we feed them bugs, uh, but they, they'll eat in the wild. They'll eat other frogs. They'll eat lizards. They'll eat snakes, all kinds of stuff. Even sometimes rodents. Uh, here we mainly feed them bugs just because that's the healthiest for them. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, they are crazy wild, man. So these are uh, like poison yeah, glands, right? Exactly. Those are where they're going to secrete the uh, the toxin, exactly. Uh, and uh, definitely don't want to lick those. You'll go on yeah, a Yeah, we'll try not to do that. Hallucinogenic trip if you do that, I think. Hallucinogenic trip <laughs> and then die. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you'd die, but you probably wouldn't feel that good. But they're, they're wild, you know, again. Uh, just a, it looked like an, an alien, you know. It's like Absolutely. we all think of like the toads we caught when we were kids, you know, these yeah, little tiny right. things. It's like this on uh, it's on the radioactive diet. This one's uh, getting revenge. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I love them. I, I dig them. And, and again, you know, they're just so freaky that uh, I couldn't pass them up when I got offered them. That's awesome. Finally, you want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Look, I just had to make you wait 15 minutes. Hi, baby girl. So hi, baby girl. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? You're not coming out, girl. Oh, you yeah, can't come is. out. Come on, sweetheart. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to come out. You guys can better all you want, though. So pretty. All right, you got a little shot here. Can yeah. I get that for you? There you go, Bells. She's my girl. I mean, I love this animal more than that can even Blue be. Blue spines are awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. She's just a baby. I mean, you know, the bond that we have is ridiculous, you know I mean? Come on, Bells, you stay there, girl. Like, I mean, I've worked, I work with this animal probably more than any animal I have as far as the amount of time I spend with her. She's uh, she's truly amazing, so. She's got I, quite a personality on her. Yeah, I always tell people, you know, I can never pick favorites, but I can say that if I ever lost an animal, this would be the animal I would take, take it the worst, right? You know, I mean, this is like, like I couldn't even imagine you know, I literally couldn't even imagine going on if I if something happened to her because I mean every day you can see she just puffs up she's just she's just <laughs> incredible you know so please you guys come and pet her and play with her and Absolutely. get to know her she's so beautiful she loves attention man I wish the first time she bit somebody would be right now <laughs> you know yeah, what she I want to take one for the team you can step up if you want to whichever you want for short people like me all right, guys, another really cool animal here. Uh, Brian's place, the Reptarium. And uh, we're gonna put the description too below as we talk about this, because you guys gotta come and see these things. Look at this. Where can you go in the world that you can go and hold a two-headed snake? Just this, here. This is Ben and Jerry. <laughs> It's yeah, crazy. Brian, tell us, tell us a little bit about Ben and Jerry. Yeah, you know, Ben and Jerry's uh, uh, coming up on four years old. And the thing about uh, polycephaly, which is two-headed snakes, is that, you know, very few of them ever make it to their year anniversary, right? You know, because you can imagine they're conjoined twin, right? You know, so at one point they were supposed to be two snakes, and then they conjoined into one body. So oftentimes, more times than not, there's other congenital issues. You know, as you mm -hmm. kind of become a Siamese twin, uh, there's all kinds of digestive problems. Sometimes they have two hearts that fail, you know, something like that. So really, it's not uh, usually a successful marriage when yeah, it comes yeah, to, yeah. to two-headed. So the fact, that once you get them past that like year and start getting them into adulthood, and again, he's a full-grown adult at four years, coming up on four years, mm -hmm. uh, typically they'll live a full life. But you know, I mean, there's no reason that uh, we shouldn't have him around for another 15 years or them around for 15 yeah. years. So it's just cool. You know, I've always had a fascination with with two-headed animals, and, and and you know my kind of, my kind of philosophy behind things here is to get people excited and curious, right? And so again, when kids and and other people come in and see a two-headed snake, they're like, oh my gosh! And it gets them interested, and if they're interested, we can start teaching them. Yeah. And that's what that you know, this is a great great you know kind of tool for that. You're like the greatest showman of. Uh Reptiles. Exactly. Yeah, the freak show. Yeah, <laughs> the freak show at the Reptero. No, so, we love it. I, it's really cool that they uh, they stick their tongues out at different times. They do. They it's, do. I mean, clearly two different brains, two different, yeah. you know, whole set of, it's, it's really little, awesome. See a little smiley face on the back too? Yeah, yeah, a little smiley face. I always say Ben and Jerry are always happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ben with Ben and Jerry. Yeah, exactly. It's really cool. Man, there's some really awesome animals. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So, are you gonna start singing for us? This is Greatest Showman stuff. Yeah, yeah, my my uh, my tone. I'm a little tonal. I am too, but I love to sing. It's fine. Oh, okay, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's a different a horror video we yeah, can make. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, people be clicking off immediately with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so, man, this is awesome. 
I just can't thank you enough for letting us hang out oh, and for man, showing us no. some of your animals and you know, anytime, sharing right? the love. This is My just pleasure. an incredible experience. So make sure you guys come and check this place out. Um, follow Brian on YouTube, probably if you're on our YouTube, you're following him already. But if not, go check him out and uh, try to make your way out here to Detroit and see some really awesome animals and get to hold some. It just yeah. doesn't happen ever. So Pretty awesome, please. I appreciate yeah. you guys. Well, thanks, man. Thank you're you. You're welcome anytime. All right. Up in the last, like, what are we doing? Wait, are we at the Riptarium? Where, really? Where are we? I don't even know. Wow. Is this it? Is it? Yeah, you can we did it? We did it, man. Like that. Feel free. I'll be right back, guys. All right, thanks. <clears throat> All right, somebody start talking and say, hey, we're at the Riptarium. <laughs> Come on, Ryan. Give us a little intro. You didn't tell me we were doing intro. We're at the reptilian looking at these cool, amazing reptilian. animals. <laughs> I don't have my ponytail. <laughs>